Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles, and we're nearly two years into our journey around the world. We are currently in northern Albania to do the very popular Valbona to Theth hike on the peaks of the Balkans Trail. After spending an extra day staying on Kamani Lake, we have made it to Valbona and we are ready for the trek. We are officially on the trail. It is about 6.15 and we had an early breakfast at our guest house and then got a ride to the end of the paved road in Valbona to start the trek. It is a really nice cool morning that we know isn't going to last, <laughs> so we're just going to enjoy it while we have it and we should have about 9 miles to theft. We've been hiking for about 45 minutes and so far the trail has just been following a gravel road that we heard you could pay something like 30 euros to get a ride all the way to the end. But it was a beautiful walk through the valley and now we are climbing. One of the fun things about this hike is that there are actually a couple of cafes along the way. So it's about 8.15 now, we're going to stop for some coffee. They also have beer here, but it's a little early, so maybe we'll have one on the other side of the pass. <laughs> Cheers. Nothing like a hot coffee halfway through a pass hike. <laughs> well, halfway to the top. Yeah. <laughs> a quarter of the way. Yeah. Halfway up the pass. <laughs> we can see the top of the pass from here. We've made some good progress yeah. so far doesn't look too bad. And the cafe owner said that what we've already done is probably worse than what we have left. That's encouraging. Yeah, that's always nice to hear. And there's apparently a waterfall behind this cafe that we're going to go check out. How happy are you right now? So happy. <sighs> and this cloud cover is amazing. <laughs> so that's helping. <laughs> These mountains are amazing. Albania. What? <laughs> Last steep climb before we make it to the top of the pass. This is too cool. And it is quite literally cold under here. <laughs> it feels so nice. For the record, there was a much easier way to do that, but it wouldn't have been near as fun. So this trail is closed for several months of the year because of snow. We're here in mid-July <laughs> and there's still snow on this trail. We were actually reading some all trails reviews from a few weeks ago with people saying that they couldn't pass because of the snow. So I think late June, early July is probably the earliest you could do it. Yeah, safely at least. I'm sure you could if you had the right gear, but we do not. So. <laughs> but we're almost at the top. <sighs> yeah. And even though it's only 10 o'clock, it's been four and a half hours since breakfast, so Almost I think it's time. time for lunch. For sure. This would not be fun covered in snow. <laughs> it's quite the drop off. We have made it up to the pass and we're headed just a little bit further up to a small peak just to the left of the pass for our picnic. Thank you. 
We climbed about 800 meters and it took us around four hours to get to the top of the pass, but we did stop quite a few times. And now we have about a thousand meters to drop down to Theth. I believe the distance is a little bit shorter, but it's going to be a lot steeper and it's time to go. Also, we've seen plenty of people doing this trek in both directions, but one of the nice things about doing it this way is that the route down to Theth should be mostly in the trees, and now that it's nearly noon, it'll be nice to have some tree cover in the afternoon sun. Oh, here are the trees. Here's the shady stuff. Up until now, I was like, this is not more shaded, but <laughs> now here we are. <laughs> okay, so. If you are looking to do this hike and you're wondering, Theth to Valbona or Valbona to Theth, honestly, I think there's pros and cons to both. We did it this way for a couple different reasons. The point Miles made earlier about this part of the hike being in the shade when we're in the afternoon versus down to Valbona from the pass was pretty exposed to the sun. Okay, so a couple other reasons. On the way to get to Valbona, we had to take two mini buses and a ferry. And that just seemed like a lot of logistics and I just didn't really want to do that on the back end of this hike. I figured we would just be done and be ready to get back. Whereas when you go Theth back to Skodra, it's just one mini bus. And then the last reason, from everything I read, Theth is definitely worth spending some time in. So we're gonna spend two or three nights there. And that's that. Honestly, there are counter arguments for both sides of it. And I really don't think you can go wrong. And I love that we did all this talking on our GoPro instead of our really nice camera with a microphone. <laughs> If you do this hike, I highly recommend that you take the time to stop at both the cafes because they really help break up the hike. Although, I'm not so sure <laughs> that a beer was the right choice. I'm feeling a little bit sluggish, which is not great for a very steep descent down to Theth. <laughs> He's redoing my shot. Miles has not yet gotten to editing a video where I have been let loose with the GoPro. <laughs> so um, he, I'm sure he's going to be thrilled about all the extra footage he's going to have to go through. Get all your whistles in the back up. <laughs> I like to whistle when I do a sh** again. But there's going to be some gold in there. That's going to be gold. Gold! We are almost to our guest house. Only 420 meters to go. Theth seems amazing. It really does. This valley is so deep and narrow. There are towering mountains on both sides of this little town. It is beautiful. That downhill was tough though. Yeah, it was steep. This is our room for the next two nights. And check out this view. It is time for a shower. Can't believe you're sitting on your bed. I know, I just thought about that. Is this my bed? It is now. We are getting a little bit of a later start today. We had a pretty slow morning. We just enjoyed an amazing breakfast at our guest house. We're actually staying at a place that sits just a little bit above town. So we have an incredible view looking down the valley. And today we are gonna be hiking to the Blue Eye. We've got about 12 miles round trip, so a little bit longer than yesterday's hike, but it should be mostly flat. So we're just gonna take it easy and enjoy the day. We 
We've been walking around for about an hour now and we have not even made it out of Thef. This village is so picturesque and we just cannot get enough. But our 12 mile hike doesn't start until we actually leave Thef, so we should probably get a move on. have just been following along the river down the valley and we are crossing the river now and going to be heading up a different valley towards the Blue Eye. And we should also mention <laughs> that there is a road that will take you most of the way there, but it's been a really nice hike so far and I'm pretty sure it costs something like 50 euros, so it wasn't worth that to us. Even if you do take a car, I'm pretty sure this is as far as they can take you and I believe we still have about a mile and a half, maybe two miles to go from here. This water is so clear. We have made it to the blue eye and I'm telling you, the temperature has dropped about 10 to 15 degrees with the cool air coming off of this water. We were actually told not to test the water before we jump in because it is that cold. But honestly, with how hot it is right now, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Go! Thoughts? <laughs> that was definitely the coldest water I have ever been in in my entire life. I asked Miles if it was colder than Blue Heart Springs in Idaho. He told me it was about the same. It was most definitely colder. It was definitely colder, but I knew if I told her... Is that the coldest water you've ever been in? Pretty close. She probably wasn't going to jump in. <laughs> it was painfully cold. <laughs> It only felt right to bring our float to the blue eye. And this cold water has made me lose my voice. <laughs> I have no voice. That was definitely worth the hike and a lot of fun, despite being freezing cold. But it's lunchtime, so it's time to start making our way back. This really has been a great day and our whole experience in Northern Albania has been incredible. From the ferry ride to staying on Kamani Lake to hiking over the pass yesterday and now exploring around Theft today, this has been an incredible introduction to Albania. So we literally just left lunch and we're right on the road and a taxi drove by and offered us a ride back for 20 euros. Started at 30. Yeah, he started at 30, went to 25 and when we said we were going to walk anyway, he dropped it to 20. But right at that same time, the sun went behind a cloud, so we felt pretty good about it. And Jess just said, about two miles from here, I think we're gonna regret that decision. <laughs> here are my takeaways for the blue eye, if you've made it this far in the video. Definitely, it is worth it. Do the hike, it's going to be the coldest water you've probably felt in your life, but you gotta jump in. It is quite the popular place. We were there at noon and it was very crowded. I don't know where we read or heard that this was a flat hike. <laughs> there are sections that are flat, like the one that we're on right now, but there is a lot of up and down to yeah. this hike. You might not go over a pass. Yeah. But it's not flat. Compared to the Valbona to Theth hike, <laughs> I guess it would be no, flat. flat. What else we got, baby? Is the hike back worth it or is two oh, euros worth it? That was that was that <laughs> was the, the big you the camera on, That I was imagine. the big key and I just like totally went off on a tangent. I forgot my whole point. <laughs> Take the 20 euro ride back to Theth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. <laughs> there is apparently a waterfall detour that we didn't take on the way down. So we might check that out on the way back. That'll be a little bonus. All right, that's all. Oh, sh 
I'm still filming. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait a minute and 41 seconds to get to this gold, baby. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> if you do this hike, I highly recommend that you take the time to stop at both the <laughs> Maybe, maybe a beer was a bad choice. <laughs>